This morning, a core character from a Christmas classic is on the market in Cleveland. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Newly listed with no set price, just as Ralphie and family left it, leg lamp and all. What is that? It's a, it's a major award. The sale, bittersweet for Brian Jones, longtime owner of this more than century old home that played host to the 1983 classic, A Christmas Story. Clearly, you take the gig seriously. <laughs> I do. After getting a leg lamp as a gag gift in his 20s, the 46-year-old Navy veteran saw a market for holiday movie nostalgia. Two years and a quarter million dollars later, an immersive experience was born, complete with the phone Ralphie's mom used to tell on a friend. He heard it from your son. What? 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 After Ralphie uttered that word. Oh. Fudge. And the soap she scrubbed his mouth with. You ready to tell me? It says, oh, fudge. All details that draw fans in droves and pink bunny costumes. It's very surreal being in here because we've been watching this movie for as long as I can remember. Complete with a museum and a gift shop, the site boasts 80,000 visits per year. Granted, Jones admits it's not all fun and games. Get the out. Leave now. This week, TMZ published a video of him apparently yelling at one of the actors in the film, who Jones claims was asking patrons for donations to buy the property, an allegation the actor reportedly denies. And I apologize to the fans. Jones telling us he's protective of the house and the film. It feels like you're seeing either a movie star or your old house from when you were a kid. It's that, that connection. A connection he hopes in the home's next chapter sticks. Dad? <laughs> Such a dark scene. But anyway, all right, guys, here's the bar of soap, just for proof, again, with my teeth marks in it right there. And you can see, oh, fudge emblazoned on it. And by the way, fans will know this sale's kind of coinciding with the anticipated release of the movie's sequel, A Christmas Story Christmas, star Peter Billingsley telling us that the movie to him, just like to a lot of people, feels like comfort food. And again, no set asking price on this property, which is really unique. Basically, Jones told us he's more concerned with the owner kind of keeping the integrity of this place alive. All that being said, you guys might be wondering why I changed coats during the package. You're like, Maggie, that's weird and that's valid. But it really comes from your producer pointing out that one of the coats you brought looks like Randy, the little brother, when he can't put his arms down in the snowsuit. So... As embarrassing as this is, like, she's right, right? I mean, it just, it fits. <laughs> Get right in. Oh. Maggie, that was great. Good. Maggie, you said this were your teeth marks. Was that a real bar of soap? Did you put your teeth in it? It's a real bar of soap. It's disgusting, and I may have poisoned <laughs> myself. Respect. Good Respect. You, Respect. I salute you. You went all the way. Thanks, Maggie. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.